Hey y'all, welcome back to the Hoffman Homestead. Uh, today we're gonna go through just a quick little seed order. Uh, we got another one of our orders from Baker Creek for the year. I think I've ordered from them two or three times already and then I also placed an order or two with at my gardener because they're amazing. Um, highly recommend if you haven't ordered seeds online before. I think it's fantastic. I mean, of course, you can get seeds at Walmart or Lowe's or, you know, wherever you go, you can go get them at the Dollar Tree and they're gonna be just fine. But I like the variety that you can get online. Um, I'm a millennial, so online shopping is the way to go, right? So we're gonna go through this little haul that we've got and maybe talk about some of our other seeds that we've gotten this year as well. So let's get into it. All right, welcome to my seed table. Uh, currently, all of my seeds, which are usually housed in here, are split up into two buckets. Uh, these are going to be items that I am starting for seed and items that are going to be direct sown outside with you know the approximate time we're doing so, 12 weeks before last frost or um, in order of when these are gonna be planted. <laughs> that should be in the front. So this is kind of the, the general setup. We'll, we'll talk about organization in another video um, and we will also go through the process of starting seeds, likely around that eight week mark because that's when we're doing you know, a big bulk of items such as, you know, peppers and maybe some tomatoes. So without further ado, let's get into our seed order. So first off, I love these companies because they always send a free seed packet and I love having more seeds. So our free seed for this order was a Merlot lettuce. Look at how gorgeous that is. I love that purple. Uh, all right, so some of the stuff that we have ordered. We've got some stevia. I am actually in the process of planning and designing my herbalist tea beds. I'm gonna have two four by 20 foot beds that are dedicated to medicinal herbs and tea herbs. So this one I'm pretty excited about that's going in there. As well as toothache plant. Uh, if you don't know about this one, this can actually be used to numb your face. <laughs> um, you can chew on this little herb and it will numb a toothache, which is awesome. It's a pretty little plant. Uh, very excited to get this one in the garden. Some lemon basil. I just watched, washed, nope. I just watched on uh, Roots and Refuge where she did some basil tea this year and I'm so excited. I have lemon basil, cinnamon basil, of course I've got some Genovese basil, but I'm pretty excited to try a tea with some lemon basil this year. All right, now some of these are special requests. Again, uh, I've mentioned in some of my other videos that my mom actually runs like a hermit crab business. So she does a lot of things with her crabs. Then I grow some food for her. So this one was her request just because I think she thinks it's pretty. But so we've got some butterfly pea. This is the blue queen. And that is just gorgeous. Black nebula carrot, which I think I actually got two black nebula carrots because again, my mom requested these. So we're going to grow her some really deep purple carrots. These were pretty cool. I grew some last year and they are so rich in color that I swear you could use this as a dye if you wanted to. Like it's stained fingers. <laughs> it would stain all other food that it's cooked in. So not necessarily looking to can this, but I am going to grow plenty for her. And then some Zloty lamb chamomile. I uh, last year grew some German German chamomile. I think it's just German chamomile. And it's fantastic, I loved it. But it got just devoured by, um, what are those bugs called? Little tiny bugs, aphids. So I'm hoping we're gonna plant a couple different varieties in a couple places with maybe some um, trap crops for those aphids so we can get a good amount of chamomile this year and make our own chamomile tea. 
All right, so that's our little seed haul for everything that we got at Baker Creek for this supplemental order <laughs> that was in addition to some other orders. I'll make sure that in future videos we go through some of those larger seed orders together uh, just to go through what they have because Baker Creek has plenty. All right, well, that's most of the newer stuff that we've gotten this year. We'll go over some more items when we start looking into actually starting the seeds. Uh, we do have a couple seeds started over yonder, so feel free to check out our shorts. We'll keep you up to date on how the lettuce is going, the rosemary, and the asparagus. So we'll catch up with you next time.